The digital marketing tactics that work have always changed over the years, but honestly, the changes I've seen this past year are much more dramatic than I've ever seen before. And that makes sense, right? I mean, 2020 threw us all a ton of curveballs, and we've had no choice but to adapt to it. So in this video, I'm gonna share all the newest trends that have been gaining popularity this year and what's working particularly well in a pandemic year like this. Okay, so we know that Facebook ads and even Instagram ads have been pretty steadily rising in terms of costs since they started. And now with so many small businesses needing to get really scrappy and save some money with their marketing budgets, I've started to see some really interesting things in terms of where those businesses are now choosing to spend those ad budgets instead of on Facebook. And the first place that I wanna talk about today is Pinterest. And I'm specifically talking about their ad platform, otherwise known as Pinterest Promoted Pins. Now, what makes Pinterest great in my eyes is that it's really different from Facebook in one key way. It's not a social platform, it's actually a search engine. So not only that, but 75% of Pinterest users say they're actually very interested in discovering new products, brands, and services on Pinterest. In fact, 48% have said that finding new brands and shopping is what they're there to do the most. And get this, 83% of users have made buying decisions based on the branded content they found on Pinterest. And while their targeting options are definitely not as robust as on Facebook, you can target based on actual things that people are searching for. So if people are searching for a type of product, you can show up there. If they're searching for how to do something and you happen to have a lead magnet that helps them do it, you can show up there. And this to me makes Pinterest a real no brainer. And the thing that makes promoted pins even better is that it's actually really hard to tell the ads from the organic pins and your cost per click is almost guaranteed to be less than if you were to run Facebook, Instagram, or even Google search ads. All right, and another alternative to Facebook advertising in 2021 is Spotify ads. So I absolutely love this strategy, especially for any business that's either local or just has a really broad appeal to where you could target your ads based on really easy things, right? Like age and gender, because they make it really easy to target on those things as well as by location. So if you're a local business that almost anyone can use, you know, think like a, a restaurant or a car wash, this is gonna be a super cost-effective way of advertising in 2021. So, and I'm talking like one to two cents per 30 second listen or watch. And I say watch now because they just rolled out the ability to use video um, in addition to audio on your ad. And it gets better because these ads cannot be skipped and you get a tappable on-screen banner that you can use while your ad plays that people can click on and they go right to your website where they can get all the details of your offer. So if you're gonna do this, there's a few things that you should keep in mind. First of all, their interest targeting is pretty bare bones, right? And it's limited to really broad categories like business or cooking, culture, things they can figure out from the podcasts that people are listening to. And here's the thing, most people don't even listen to podcasts on Spotify anyway, so if you can't target just based on location, age, and gender breakdowns, this might not be the right fit for your business. Also, people will usually need to hear or see your ad a couple times before they'll take any action. And two, you wanna be advertising an actual offer of some kind, okay? Something that creates a sense of urgency. So think of a promotion you can offer for a limited time that'll really drive that action and then just go over to the Spotify self-serve ad studio, follow the steps over there and you're good to go. Okay, next up, no digital marketing list would be complete without mentioning email marketing and the idea of building up your email list because here's the thing, no matter what happens with social media and paid ads, nothing still beats email marketing in terms of profitability and just overall return on your investment. So in short, you need to be constantly building that list. But what used to work great at doing that isn't working so great anymore. You know, newsletters, dead, eBooks, 
pretty much dead too. You know, there are a ton of different types of lead magnets, but the specific type that's getting a lot of attention right now that I wanna talk about as a trend is the challenge lead magnet. So what exactly is a challenge and why is it gonna be a perfect fit for where we are right now in 2021? In short, a challenge is probably the best way of getting someone from where they are today to a better, happier, healthier, richer, right, after state. And the reason this works so well is because they sign up for it with their email address, of course, and then every day for, you know, five or seven, 10, 21 days, whatever works for what your challenge actually entails, every day in that challenge, you email them a new tip or an action item or an assignment. And then each day builds on the day before in such a way that you're actually helping them achieve a result. And that can be anything from putting together a monthly budget to training their puppy, to creating their own website. And if you provide a service, there is a challenge funnel you can use in your business. And in 2021, let's face it, people generally have more time to devote to bettering themselves personally and professionally. So in my opinion, there's never been a better time for this. And even if all that weren't the case, I just love challenges because that repeated exposure of them hearing from you every day with a new helpful, actionable action step, that's gonna shortcut the time it takes for you to build massive levels of trust with your email list. Because honestly, trust doesn't happen with a single PDF checklist, but it absolutely can after about a week of you helping them toward a goal. And that segues very smoothly into our next trend, which is Facebook groups. So similar to a challenge, a group lets you have a really engaged bunch of people who are there to learn from you, be inspired, get support. And groups have the added benefit of letting them interact with other like-minded people who have the same goals and challenges. Now it's really important to know that a group is very different from your business page, right? Your page is there for you to just present what you offer as a business, right? And then possibly share some content as well. But your group is where you can interact and you can do live videos. You can post daily mini assignments, right? If you wanted to mimic that challenge element inside of your group. And of course it goes without saying, if you start a Facebook group, you need to have a goal for it, right? And you wanna create content inside of it that helps you reach that goal. Otherwise, you're just kind of throwing spaghetti at the wall and spinning your wheels, and you're likely gonna get burnt out, throw up your hands and just say that was a big fail. So have an intention and a sincere motivation to help people, you know? Knowing that not all of the people in your group are ever gonna turn into customers, but you need to show up in the group anyway and contribute your expertise on a regular basis. Okay, moving right along to our next trend, which is all about TikTok for business and Instagram Reels. So these are both focused on entertaining short form video content. So the pandemic and all that time that we had to spend at home definitely fueled the fire underneath TikTok and it absolutely exploded in popularity during those months. And for a while there, it was actually really easy to post a video and have it be seen by hundreds of thousands, sometimes millions of people. So it's no surprise that uh, they've started to monetize it with ads that you can buy for your business. So that's TikTok, but Reels is Instagram's attempt to capitalize on the success of TikTok. No surprise, they do this kind of thing whenever they see another app's catching fire. Um, but there are a few differences here between the two platforms that you should know about. First, TikToks can be up to 60 seconds long and Reels are limited to just 15 seconds. So you can basically think of Reels like Instagram stories, except they don't disappear after 24 hours. And the upside to using Reels right now is huge because Whenever Instagram or Facebook, or just about any platform for that matter, whenever they roll out a new feature, you can bet that they're gonna reward you with extra exposure when you jump on it early. And even though Reels have been out for months now, most people still don't really know how to use them. And businesses are definitely underrepresented here. So if you're stuck for an idea, uh, you can create short educational videos where you teach 
three top tips or five simple steps to doing something. Or you can post inspirational content, like examples of your best kitchen remodels or your best wedding photography. Anything you can do to help people visualize that happier after state, right? Uh, you can show your products or services in action with demos or tutorials. Whatever is going to help people see what they can expect and what they can do with what you offer. So this goes for whatever you post organically on Reels, and it's what I'd recommend you post for TikTok ads as well, because here's the thing. Traditional ads, like commercials, don't work especially well on TikTok. They're, you're much better off putting money behind actual helpful and, if possible, entertaining content, growing your fan base that's going to naturally come to trust you and want to buy from you or work with you. And while we're on the subject of video content, that brings me to the next trend, which is video, video everywhere. Now, of course, video content isn't new on its own, but the trend here is really just blowing your video up across platforms and really using it to its full potential. And this is going to be much more comfortable for a lot of you this year, I think, thanks to all those Zoom meetings that we've had to be on during quarantine, right? So I want you to think about finally starting that YouTube channel um, and embedding those videos on your website then repurposing them to put on Facebook Watch and on LinkedIn and IGTV. Now, this is something I'm doing because while YouTube is still my primary audience here, I can reach more people without doing much more work by simply scaling out to the other platforms with the exact same content with just a few minor tweaks. And once you start getting more comfortable on video, I do want you to seriously consider going live on Facebook or YouTube, LinkedIn, or even Instagram to really be able to interact with your audience. This, this is huge when it comes to building trust and making your prospects see you as almost a little mini celebrity in your space, which will lead to you becoming much more in demand. Okay, next up we have the rise of the DIY website. So we know by now that your website needs to be the central hub of all of your digital marketing. But businesses like yours were hit really hard this past year. So how do you really make an investment in your site when money is probably much tighter than usual? Well, that's where the DIY aspect comes into play. So there's a ton of online tools out there that'll help you create a website while saving that money that you'd otherwise have to shell out to a designer. But here's the thing, you gotta be careful that you aren't just putting up a glorified digital brochure, right? Your website needs to be persuasive and hit all of the right beats that essentially mimic the customer journey. So yes, DIY websites can work, but only if you have a strategy in place first so that you actually know what you should be using that DIY software to create in the first place. And I've actually got you covered here with my most in-depth training ever. It's called How to Create and Launch Your Own Profitable Client Generating Website. So just click right here to get exclusive on-demand access to the whole 60-minute masterclass. And in it, I'm gonna help you with that strategy, show you what you need, and what you don't. So click right here and I'll see you inside of the training.